Coming up, England by way of India. Everyone in Motor Week is a car enthusiast, but we have our fair share of motorcycle fans, too. And whether it's modern or vintage, our Dave Durso is ready and willing to ride it. So this week he gets to throw his leg over a machine that's a little of both. Ask any Harley-Davidson dealer, and they'll tell you that vintage style is a big seller in today's motorcycle market. But style and authenticity can be two different things. And the problem with authenticity is it's usually expensive and hard to find. But you can still get that authentic vintage bike vibe on a Royal Enfield. Now all the old bike guys out there are saying, Royal Enfield, they stopped making those 30 years ago. Well, they did, and they didn't. Royal Enfield was once one of England's premier motorcycle brands. But when the English motorcycle industry died in the 1970s, Royal Enfield died with it, at least in England. But at the other end of the world, in Chennai, India, Royal Enfields are still being built. First produced under license in 1955 for the Indian Army, Royal Enfield motorcycles are now sold all over the world. And you can walk into your local dealer, as we did at the CNL Cycle Shop in Sykesville, Maryland, and buy a brand new Royal Enfield right off the floor. Royal Enfield's top model is the 500 Bullet. It's basically the same machine built in 1955 with a few modern upgrades. The 499cc single cylinder engine is as simple as it gets, still using an overhead valve layout and points ignition. The folks in India did add an electric starter, but left the Kickstarter in case you want to do things the vintage way. The engine also boasts a modern Makuni style carburetor and a five speed gearbox that's light and positive, though you do have to hunt for neutral. The chassis is a simple steel tube frame with skinny 37 millimeter forks up front and twin preload adjustable shocks out back. The standard brakes are drums at both ends, the front a seven inch twin leading shoe design, though a dealer installed front disc is optional. Even the tires are old school. Avon Speedmasters with inner tubes. Bullet styling matches the design. It hasn't changed since the glory days of British biking, which is fine since those were some of the best looking bikes ever built. And Enfield offers a wide range of paint and styling options. But like all bikes, the Bullet is about riding. And that's a lot of fun, as long as you're not in a hurry. With only about 25 horsepower on tap, the Bullet isn't what you'd call quick but the engine idles cleanly and has good bottom end pull and the bullet will cruise comfortably all day and before you ask no we did not have a single oil leak ride quality is much like a harley sportster smooth on most surfaces but choppy pavement will bounce you around a bit handling is actually pretty sharp the bullet is light and nimble requiring little effort to turn and feels very stable even the drum brakes are up to par they don't have the power of modern discs but they're strong enough with plenty of feel The Royal Enfield Bullet may be a 50-year-old design, but it still delivers everything that many modern motorcycle riders want. And with a base price of $4,795, plus a 12-month unlimited mileage warranty, it's a lot easier and a lot less expensive than restoring a real antique. Add in a huge parts and accessory catalog, you can even get a sidecar, and the Bullet looks hard to beat. The Royal Enfield Bullet is the best of both worlds, an authentic old school design that's available, affordable, and offers both electric start and a warranty. Vintage doesn't get any easier than this.